What's your favourite ever ATP match that you have played and why? ATP Tour, not Grand Slam. The best match? Yeah. I will say Rome 2005 here. Favourite ATP match that I've ever played? Oh god. Um, let, let's say uh, Tour of Finals final against Novak. He actually wasn't the best tennis, but that was, yeah, big match for me that one. So yeah, I'll take, take that. Great footwork. New balls, please. Oh, what a backhand! What a strike! Which is at the moment. It's a lovely response. And that's. It's so important for Murray to remain aggressive. 15 on. Game set match, Murray. Murray wins. Two sets to lock, six three, six four. Murray wins it all. He's champion of the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. And the my, my final in, in Rio de Janeiro was my first ATP 500, so against Fernando Verdasco I did a great match and I won my, my best tournament in my career. Oh, it's perfection. Inch perfect from Schwartzman. And to produce that quality this early in the match, take some guts. And that's a good example of that spirit, never said die attitude yeah. that has taken him into the top 20. Beautiful bow. I'm not sure this would have been in the pre match tactics. The, the drop shot return no, was certainly effective. Ball was in control. There it is, the arms that go aloft and Diego Schwartzman, the little man with the big heart, has done it. Diego Schwartzman is the champion in Rio in 2018.
I would say final in Paris against Djokovic. Yeah, you know, beating uh, Novak. He was a number one in the world. He was in a great run. I think 22 matches in a row and. Uh, Outstanding from Achenov. A wonderful slice under pressure to give himself half a chance to turn the point in his favour. What a period of play this is for Karen Hatchinov, who's caught fire. He's made another. He didn't get hold of the approach, but took nothing away from the Russian here. <laughs> it's a Maiden Masters 1,000 title for Karen Hatchinov. He wins the Rolex Paris Masters, beating a fourth top ten player in a row. He ends Novak Djokovic's 22 match winning streak. Um, well, I my, I beat Bruno Choric in Miami in quarterfinals. Uh, that was a big, big moment for me, even though it was, you know, straightforward match, I guess, in straight sets. But, you know, I was fairly young and reaching my first semifinals of a Masters, it was really significant. And I just remember, you know, feeling really happy after that, that win, so it was really significant for me. Now, terrific hands from Ogier Alessim, and it all began with a brilliant drive backhand return up the line. Oh. Oh. FAA is flying high. 15 of the last 20 points. And how's that for a nice little run to start set number two? Well, he's just got a lot, doesn't oh, he, this yeah, guy? A lot of 18-year-olds you look at, you think, right, he needs to improve that. That needs to get better. But you just look at Felix, and he just is so solid. His all-court game. Now that's money, and that's going to pay, pay for some nice real estate when he wants to settle down. Oh, this is just special. Youth has served and done oh so well. And I'll tell you what, the kid is more than all right. Felix Auger Arisim sends Borna Torch packing in straight sets. I think uh, I think last year here in uh, in Rome with better. I think was the the court was packed. It was 80 percent of the people that were there. I, I knew them, so it was really a great feeling. Yeah. A decision to take on the drop shot.
He couldn't put away the smash. He's not holding back. He's done it. His first top 10 win. The upset that many were anticipating at the start of the day. But it is done. It's in the bag. Matteo Berrettini taking his applause from the crowd.